work being done in a phone booth on the wing. So Lukacs kick was charged down, but South Australia do eventually get it towards half forward, coming across to take the intercept mark is Rhett Bazo. Some big raps on him as well, Jordan. Yeah, one of five um, AFL Academy members for WA and just takes so many intercept marks, reads the play really well. He pops it into the pocket and that's nicely done here by the SA boys. And a chance for a shot. Here's the mark so he can run on. Kicks from 45. Has it got the carry? No, getting back and getting a finger to it. What minute mark. In a different role this afternoon, Jacob Van Ruin. He's kicked 21 goals in five Colts games, so but still yet to kick a goal. Short pass on the way back in. Tucked up in the left back pocket, off a step, long high kick. South has a good run and leap at this. Johnson gets told off if there's a warning. Wasn't much I could do, Jonesy. You can only yell out at them if they don't come back. They don't come back. And Bazo has it once more. Playing in the PSA for Guildford Grammar this year. It says, didn't even have a look off a step. Bangs it long. It'll go right to the line. And again, WA have the numbers back to get the fist on the footy. Looking around him was Cook. South Australia with a quick shot towards goal from Kennedy. Won't get the distance and Van Ruin, good judgment in the stage of his development, but he's adding that extra string to his bow now. Playing a defence. He follow up and get this ball back. From the Claremont Footy Club. Kicks long to a contest. Roberts in towards the pocket. Again, doesn't give the forwards too much chance, but not... On the outside, he's certainly got some silky foot skills as well. I reckon he'd be known on... From the dance floor work as well, looking at that. <laughs> Kick back into play is outstanding. Owens, they're moving the ball quickly this time, South Australia. Towards full forward, Van Ruin with the spoil. Having done, and a good piece of work again there by Grubb. Gets it deep forward, Van Ruin gets back, and that's a well-promising build-up from South Australia, snuffed out by Van Ruin. And this kick could give Benning a chance to run. We wouldn't mind seeing him at least manage to level things up in this quarter. Grubb from outside 50 will get it all the way to the goal line. Bazo wants to take the mark, and he's not paid at socket off the deck, but it might have been over. Looks like he's a pretty good user of the football with that left boot towards Lukak, who's forced to spoil from the scoreboard. Short pass to Bazo, and this time it'll be WA looking to go from left back pocket to right back pocket. Good kick. Now the national under-19s carnival. Liddy gets the clearance for South Australia. This Roberts with a thumping kick on the turn. It's going to just about clear the pack, get to the goal line, and lucky. Quite surprised there, lucky. Red Bazo was on the goal line to save that one. Hasn't he been outstanding this afternoon? He locked his marking work, and now the kick... As Becker runs his full measure and then kicks towards the wing. Gorringe got a Sheldrick tackled. How did he get rid of that? The umpire said a little hand pass. Van Ruin, good collect and evasive work and then poking a kick inside on the right. to a sad impact there to start this quarter. Short pass coming out of defence, finding Van Ruin. And Van Ruin goes short with a shocker. It scrubs all the way along the ground, intercepted by Owens. He's caught in his stag. High kick towards full forward. Van Ruin attacks it in the air. Good contest from South Australia. Van Ruin's recovery's all right, although the little hand pass out in front, not the best idea. Centre half back, Max Chipper. Comes out to Bazo, and then a couple of WA players coming on. Rebound quickly to Wanganeen Miller up. His high kick to half forward, and Bazo kept his eyes on the footy well with a bit of bodily contact around the contest. He hasn't taken his eyes off the footy for about two hours, has he? He's been outstanding. Looks out wide. Running onto the football is Owens. Not a great kick, made it hard for Lukak, but he collected it nicely on the bounce. Swings the hand pass back inside, and he'll get it back once more. Lukak receiving the Hudley with the football towards full forward. Roberts is deep forward as well, makes the spoil on Bazo, and Bazo follows up with a good tackle on Horn Francis. Ignores the short lead coming towards him, decides to kick to a one on four, and Jason Horn Francis now, and so look to clear. A long kick, Van Ruin. Good leap. Hands on the footy. Couldn't take it. Hand pass from Tunstall going straight up and down on the same spot. Good tackle from Van Ruin. Where do you reckon his best footy will end up being? Or is he going to be the type of guy that you can swing either end? Yeah, I think it'll be one of those types that you could reliably swing at either end of the ground. I love his aggression. I've seen him play as an inside mid as well at, at Colts level and won some clearances that day as well. So he's one of those players who could play anywhere. And they've had enough of the handballing this time. High kick. Now has it. Got those fluorescent yellow boots on. And he wants someone to lead to him. No one coming just yet. Eventually Cook gives a lead. And he ignores that one. Decides to go longer instead. And it's tailor-made for this man, Bazo. More than happy to... That's his name to a pretty prestigious list. Devin Robertson, the last one to lead WA. Won the Lark medal.
Back Went to school together as well, Aquinas College, so they know each other very well. Sends the hurry kick forward. Waiting back a little bit that time, Van Ruin. Wasn't sure whether it would attack or not. Cook did attack it, and now Van Ruin wraps him up with a strong tackle, carrying him over the boundary line. And the crowd enjoyed that from Jacob Van Ruin. Such good aggression about him, Jacob Van Ruin. Never shies away from a contact. Jordan McArdle and Dave Lindsay are commentators here this afternoon. The AFL under-19s, thanks to NAB.